When you think of a CPU for gaming, a Xeon is probably the last thing to come to mind. Not only are their clock speeds low, but they cost nearly three times as much as a high-end i7. But despite this, I know quite a few people who game on Xeons, and they're having a fantastic experience. So if they're so expensive, why would anyone game on them, and why not just go for a cheaper i7? Okay, so like I said, the Xeons are usually way more expensive than their desktop counterparts, with the ultra-high-end Xeon E5 2699v4 coming in at just under $4,000. Yikes. But for that price, you're getting a CPU that can churn out a Cinebench score of 2545. Okay then, so why isn't this thing running circles around my i7-8700K while gaming when it got a Cinebench score of just over 1400? Well, if you were to boot up a game on a 22-core Xeon, the first problem that would arise is just simply the massive amount of cores. Most games today take advantage of between 4-6 to six threads, and if you've got more threads than what the game is using, they just don't do anything, and this means that a massive chunk of your processing potential is just simply inactive. And this massive chunk of processing power is what gives Xeons an edge when running programs such as Cinebench. Now, the other issue that comes up is the lower clock speed. Since Xeons are designed for longevity and efficiency rather than performance, they usually have massive reductions in clock speeds when compared to their desktop counterparts. Now this, combined with low core utilization, means that the cores that are actually doing things are being bottlenecked by these low clocks. This is why gaming on modern Xeons isn't that great of an idea. You'd be paying more for a processor that will not only be severely underutilized, but may actually hurt your performance. Now, modern Xeons aren't good for gaming, but older Xeons can be an excellent option if you're on a budget. The Xeon X5650 is a 6-core 12-thread CPU that can be found for about $60, and its specs are nearly identical to an i7-8700K. Now, in synthetic tests, the $60 Xeon shows to be about 30% behind the i7, while being 13% of the price, and this is why older Xeons are so great. Because most of them have 4 or 6 cores, plus hyperthreading, all of your threads are utilized in most modern games. They're also overclockable and aren't held back by larger dies like in newer Xeons. The previously mentioned Xeon X5650 comes stock clocked at 2.66 GHz, but this CPU can easily hit about 3.5 GHz with proper cooling. And ultimately, that's where most of the value lies. Not only are older chips cheaper, but they also have unlocked core multipliers, and most of them can be tweaked to easily hit much higher speeds. And while you probably won't be getting i7-8700K performance figures, you'll be getting pretty close considering what you pay. So if you want a CPU to game on or to complete a budget content creation PC, older Xeon processors might be able to do the trick. But if you're looking at an older Xeon as an alternative to something more modern, let's say an i5-8400, then going with the more modern platform is definitely the smarter option. If more modern CPUs are out of your price range, then the Xeon X5650 or X5670 might be able to satisfy your needs. And with 6 cores and 12 threads, you'd be able to use the CPU for more than just gaming. So, to answer the question, can you game on Xeons? Yes, you definitely can. But at the end of the day, modern Xeons cost more and leave a lot of performance on the table when compared to their mainstream i-series counterparts. Older Xeons are much more value conscious and may actually perform better than older i-series chips after some overclocking. Really, it all just depends on your situation and what you're willing to spend. Either way, you'd be able to find some great chips at some great prices. So, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and click the bell icon so you'll be notified about all our future uploads. And also, tell us, are you interested in gaming on a Xeon? Because me personally, if I found one for a good price, I'm pretty sure I'd just go ahead and buy it, just because it's just kind of something I think would be kind of cool to say, like, oh, I'm gaming on a Xeon. But anyways, we cannot wait what you guys have to say. So, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.